Hello everybody and welcome to another small video that I've decided to do for the Terraria uh, mod development. In this I'm going to be showing you how to set up a um, Terraria mod using Microsoft Visual Studio instead of the skeleton and it's going to be easy enough to do. So first of all when you uh, create a new project Make sure to choose class library uh, .NET framework and choose your modding folder. I'll call this tutorial mod 2. Click OK. I'm going to zoom in as well. Help you. So if you have made everything then you should end up with either a class or no class at all. If you do have a class just delete it. In references you want to go add reference and you want to choose Terraria.exe. If you haven't got it click browse, find it and then add it. It will be located in your uh, Steam uh, Terraria game or wherever Terraria is installed. Next, uh, open up properties. I recommend changing the target framework to 4.5. Then go to uh, Debug, start external program, then find your uh, Terraria folder and choose your team mod loader Terraria. You will know which one it is because it will have the jungle tree instead of the vanilla. Uh, let me start again. You'll have the jungle tree instead of the normal wood tree, uh, oak tree. Anyway, click this and that will open. In working directory, basically just this as your working directory is going to be the same as your start external except without the Terraria.exe extension. Next, in post build events, I'm actually going to have to open a file just check this so I can never remember you want to do rotations enter your path to your Terraria uh, folder to Build in quotation marks, then you want to put open brackets project dire put a uh, backslash there. You might not need it, but for safety, I recommend doing it, and that's all you need for that. Let's save that, then click close solution, and you want to open. The CS project uh, folder, and you'll get this. Then you want to do reference include equals Microsoft dot XNA dot framework, and just put a slash at the end instead. Bit doing that reference. Include equals Microsoft dot XNA dot framework dot graphics. Done it again. And reference include equals Microsoft helps for you to spell Microsoft correctly. XNA dot framework 
got audio, I believe it is. Let me open up the one. Let me here. Nope. Dot game and dot graphics. Change audio to dot game. And I kind of recommend doing it. It's. I'm just gonna quickly make sure I spell everything correctly. Now, if you have done all that, go up here, click close solution again, open your Terraria uh, mod solution. Now, you want to create a new class and call it uh, whatever, in this case, tutorial mod. I'm just going to call it, change this to public class tutorial mod. Using Terraria, using Terraria dot mod loader, and it extends mod public tutorial mod. And then properties equals new mod properties. Then auto load equals to auto load the stuff you want. I'm just going to auto load everything. Auto load sounds. Cute. Make sure to add a semicolon at the end here. Now, if everything is working, which it won't because I've just realized I haven't done something, and that is create a new item and it's a text file, it's going to be called build.txt. Now, again, I'm going to need to open up uh, thing because I I cannot remember this off the top of my head. Okay. You want to do build ignore equals dot cs mod dot user object slash anything there bin slash anything there and dot vs slash there so now if we click start if everything works out which i have a feeling it's not going to because the errors likely to appear now in my luck here to load about an issue And we'll check if it's in our folder. Initializing, setting up. And there it is. Tutorial mod 2. Enabled. That's it. Now, if you want to be able to edit while you are developing the game or developing the mod check this off my head here then you want to add the following to post build uh bank command line hyphen eac target path Click save then in your build dot txt add include p d p true love errors probably because but that will now allow you to uh pause to area edit your code and then uh, continue and those edits might or might not have 
being added so it's opened and pause the application is in break mode we open up this see where it Yep, okay, let's continue because let's wait until it's fully loaded into the game. Okay, now if you pause into break mode, or hopefully. You'll be able to type. If you're not in break mode and you try, you'll not be able to change anything. That's how you set up a mod. I believe I might be wrong, but I feel like you can also do this with Mac if you have Visual uh, Studio, because I believe Studio is now available for Mac uh also if you haven't got the x and a framework be sure to uh download it you'll be needing it so thank you everyone for watching hopefully this has been helpful till next time goodbye